What's up guys, it's Dr. GTA coming to you with a GTA uh, tutorial today on the GTA co-op mod for the server-side scripting and for the server-side hosting. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you hit like and subscribe and uh, uh, please help me out. Uh, so yeah, we're going to start this now. Um, I'm doing a GTA co-op server thing. Um, you want to download it. It has two files and obviously it's been really requested. So I'm going to make this short video for you guys, about three minutes long, I guess, <clears throat> while I'm getting over this cold. So uh, you're going to open up the server and you're going to take the extract folder of the server to your desktop. Um, that's all you need to do at that point. Then you're going to want to need to go and uh, make sure you have your, your server wherever you want it, your folder, just wherever you want to access it locally. And then you get to it and you have all this stuff in here. You're going to go to the settings, XML file, open that with notepad. And you're going to see you have a whole bunch of stuff in here. Okay, you have your max players. That's how many players can go on the server. So you can put up the 32. You can even change it to like two where you can put 32. Um, another thing you want to do is change the port. Um, depending on your router, you're going to have to find out the port and you're going to have to put that in there so you can change that. You don't need to change anything else above this, anything right here. And you can change the name of the server to like police role, role play or whatever. And then the other thing you can do is you can put a password. If you want to put a password, you put true. If you don't want to, just leave it as it was false. And all you have to do is change this password to whatever you want it to be. Mine can be, you know, code three or something. And then um, you can announce the password. So it gives them a notification that they have to put a password, that they confirm the password and it failed. So you want to always keep that on. The master server, don't change that because that's where the master server is at. So you don't be able to play if you change that. Allow displayed names. You want to hit that for true because it's going to show people's names in the game. You can add free roam. And you also have these filtered scripts you can add in. String admin tools is just the first one. You're going to be able to add new ones in as time goes by. So you can copy that. You can actually go down. Um, you can hit enter like this, space bar over, duplicate it, and then whatever is the next one that comes out, say if it's a race, you can put it there or something, but you don't need to do that right now. Um, and that's pretty much it right there for filtered scripts. Uh, once you're done with that, you go ahead and save it. But before you do that, you're gonna need to find out the port you want it. Mine's gonna be 30120, 30120, and that's what it is. And I, you can save it. I'm not gonna save it because I'm not trying to run it. Um, you also have your band list. You can go to open, go to notepad, and you have your band IP. So you find the band IPs. If you want to find out someone's IP and they connect to your server, I'm not sure how to do that, but you'll have to find a way. I'm sure you can do that. You're going to put their IPs right here. So like I say, mine would be like, for an example, this is not my IP, but that's what you put. And you hit space bar and then you hit enter another one. Like that and stuff like that. And that's pretty much all I got to do and save that and it'll work. Um, the other thing you want to do is use your admin tools. You don't need to do that. Accounts, you go open with that notepad. Um, you don't need to do any of that. That's it's okay to find. Uh, game modes, there's a race in here for game modes. So anytime you have anything you want to install, you can install filter scripts. I hear when they do updates for filter scripts for new game modes and stuff, you put them in here. And that's pretty much all you got to do. Then you right click, run this as admin. It's going to give you this firewall thing. You need to make sure you allow it to be on private network. Check it and allow access. If you don't, you will not have your um, thing working. Also, and you're going to say when you first load this up, it's going to say filtered, could not load file assembly. Oh my God. So it's not working. So what you're going to do is exit out. You're going to go back to the admin tools, go to properties, right click, unblock it, apply. Okay. You're going to do that for every single one of these because they will not work unless you do that. Um, and this is one thing that automatically default does this on Windows 10 and Windows 7. So you will have a problem. You have to unblock everything, including the EXE. Um, I'm not sure if the ban list has that. Oh yeah, everything's got a everything's got a un, you know a block thing on it. It's trying to trick you into thinking it's a virus or whatever. And let's see if the folders even have that. Nope, they don't. So you can go in there, you know, go to properties. Make sure you unblock all the stuff like this in here too, or it will not work. Once that's done, you can go back to your server and you can run it. And boom, mine's ready to go. Um, sometimes if you have a problem, like say your your port should change depending on how you set it up in the settings, but um, it should change if it doesn't. It it's probably if it won't let you like in the server, it won't let you get into your server. You want to make sure that port whatever is right here is uh, loaded up. And I mean by that you have to go to your um, you want to go to your actual uh, router. So I'm going to go to my router and log into it. So you want to go directly to your router. Once you get into it, you want to go down to virtual servers. And you're going to go in there. Once you get in there, you're going to have port C. Mine has 5M set up. 
for inbound port forwarding for 30120. That's why I set it up, because it doesn't matter the name. It just matters that that inbound port is set up for TCP and UDP, and it's set up to your IP address. So whatever your IP address, and then your private port. So you want the same thing for the inbound and the private, and then you want your IP address. Typically it's 192.168.2, and then it's gonna have a 2.0. If you wanna find that out, you just enter command, CMD, and then run it, and when you want, get in this black screen, go IP config. It's gonna show up all this stuff. It's gonna be IPv4 address. It's gonna be the IPv4 address. So mine is 192.168.2.20, and as you can see, it's right here as well. And then make sure that's set. Make sure this is set TCP UDP. You can name this, you know, fuck off or whatever you want. And just hit apply changes. Restart your router, and that should fix your problem. It's pretty much all you gotta do for this. And then it should load, and you should be able to go in your server. Once you get this up, you wanna keep this running in the background. And then you wanna go load into your game and go hit F9 and go load into the server. Your server might need to refresh. It might need up to two minutes to, to load in, depending on how fast your internet speed is. I recommend a really fast internet speed because the sync and everything's still in beta. Also recommend you guys leave your passwords unlocked because I want everyone to test this out. If there's not a, there's all these locked servers, no one's going to play. We want everybody to test and, and develop this mod. I want this mod to go as far as it can. I want Raychook to be able to use this mod. That's my main purpose for this video. It's the only reason I'm making it. So please, if you do um, have any testing feedback or anything, relate to the website and help everybody in this uh, GTA 5 co-op mod. I want this to be successful and I want everyone to update this and improve it so we can actually play rate with LSPDFR online. And with that said, I'll go ahead and end the video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.